Hey everyone, Desiree here. So in this video, I'm gonna show you my setup for my Kiki K B6 planner. Now I just ordered this from Kiki K probably about, I wanna say two or three months ago. It actually was a big mess because they ended up sending me the wrong planner and then I had to wait another two weeks for them to send me the correct planner and then they still did not get the order right because I ordered inserts with this that they did not include. But at that point I had given up because I was so frustrated and annoyed with the process that I decided to just kind of move on. And I know Kiki K is going through some, uh, I don't know, bankruptcy issues. Uh, I don't know what the deal is, but I know the company is struggling. So I thought I would do my part to, uh, <laughs> you know, buy something and then it didn't work out. But that's neither here nor there. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Let's just get on to the setup. Now, I have been wanting a B6 uh, ringed planner for quite a while now. I have been seeing a lot of videos showing this particular planner, and I really do love it. Now, as you can see, mine is, it's kind of, not that it's beat up, but I think during shipping, it's kind of, it kind of took a few hits. And, you know, I have a little bit of a ding there. Um, this corner part was kind of curled. And again, you know, it is coming all the way from Australia. And it, it was shipped in an envelope, not in a box. So I don't think it's as protected as it could be. But then again, I understand the company's going through some issues. <sighs> and as much as I love Kiki K stuff, I don't know if I can... Um, recommend them at least from my experience I know other people seem to have a flawless experience that has not been the case for me but anyway so let's go ahead and get right to it so as you can see it's got a uh, snap here with the white Kiki or the white K logo and then in the back you also have the Kiki K little uh, branding or stamp whatever there and I really like the size of this ringed planner now, I have been getting back into ring planners. Uh, I've, I think I've mentioned that in a couple of recent videos. And so I'm really loving the flexibility of a ringed planner. Also, I really like the um, kind of the simple, the simple minimal list uh, personality of a ring binder, binder. And I hope that makes sense. Uh, if it doesn't, <laughs> then just ignore me. But uh, as you can see, I've got a rose gold themed layout here, which I really, really like. I had a lot of fun putting this together. Oh, I didn't show you. I do have a planner charm here. This is a rose gold key that I got from one of my table mates at Go Wild last year. And... Uh, I didn't use, I had, I, you know, had no idea how I was going to use it, and then when I got this planner, I said, oh, that works perfectly. And if you're not familiar, Kiki K has a little elastic loop here, and I'm assuming that's specifically for planner charms. So, uh, that's what I got going on here on the outside. So, uh, now this planner does not lay flat. But I think a lot of that is because it's new. So I'm sure once I kind of, you know, continue using it and kind of break it in, I think this will be fine and it will lay flat just fine. Uh, let's go ahead and start with my pockets. Now I used a, which I don't have with me, but I used a old um, Michaels paper pad that I bought, I think, last year. And so all of these papers are just, <clears throat> excuse me, scrapbook papers that I kind of cut down and played around with and put inside here. So you have a secretarial pocket here, and I just have a piece of like kind of a bronze vellum that I cut down because I thought, you know, the contrast was really pretty. In these pockets, these are all scrapbook papers. And all I did was cut them down to size. This is a Happy Planner sticker that I thought matched. And this is a piece of fabric that I got from Hobby Lobby. Let me show you in case you're interested. Uh, it's this here, and I just cut it down. And it's like a glitter fabric. Uh, I found it in the felt section of Hobby Lobby, and I thought it matched really nice. So I just cut a piece and stuck it in there. 
Now, it's funny because all of these little papers here, I just put them in as an experiment when I was playing with the setup, and I really liked it, so I just left it as is. These are nothing more than cardstock uh, cut down and put in the pockets because I don't use these pockets for anything. So uh, I just thought it looked pretty, and that's what I did. I don't have anything in this zipper here. At least I don't think I do. Oh, yes, I do. Forgive me. <laughs> I do have some uh, tab stickers, and they go on the dividers here, which I'll be showing you in a bit. And then it comes with the pen loop, and I have a full-size pocket here, which I have my uh, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People little pamphlet. I think this came with the audiobook I bought years ago, and I always keep this in the pocket of one of my planners because I think it's a good reminder. Okay. Uh, for the dashboard, this is a Foxy Fix Personal Wide plastic dashboard. And again, I just put in some uh, scrapbook paper. This is a Happy Planner sticker. Uh, these are also Happy Planner stickers here on the back. Uh, I'm just trying to use up my sticker books because I have so many of them. So I'm literally trying to you know, find ways that I can use up these stickers and put them in as many planners, notebooks, journals, as possible because I really do have a lot and I want to use them. Uh, next I have another piece of that kind of bronzy rose gold vellum that I bought from Hobby Lobby. And then I have another uh, Foxy Fix dashboard. Again this is the personal wide size and I threw on some more stickers. Uh, the paper is scrapbook paper from that same paper pack. More stickers here on the back. I actually think I think some of these might be Erin Condren stickers. So then I have like a divider, not an actual divider, like a divider paper cardstock that I made. Uh, this is from that same paper pack and then I just glued this on there and I really like the way that turned out. Then we get into my first section which is the to-do list and uh, these dividers are from Dividers R Us. Um, I did an unboxing of these, and while I do think they're nice, uh, I'm not impressed with the quality. They're very, very thin and flimsy, so I would not order them again. Uh, but here's another of that uh, cardstock, and then it just goes right into blank paper. So this is where I will jot down, you know, any random thoughts, to-do lists, grocery lists, anything, whatever. So it's just the blank paper. And I think this is the personal wide paper uh, from Foxy Fix. The next section is my monthly section. Again, I have another one of those frosted dividers. Uh, I am looking for more of these clear frosted dividers for the B6 size. If you can recommend any more shops that kind of make more sturdier dividers, please post them in the comments below because I am looking for a shop that makes these. Uh, again, more paper that I kind of played around with and just put it together. And, oh yeah, this is, <laughs> this is the monthly section. So I'm using the dividers that came with, or I'm using the inserts, some of the inserts that came with this particular notebook. Uh, this is the undated month on two pages, and as you can see, I just kind of filled it in. Uh, I think I have June... And then I have July as well. Oh, and August. So I will just kind of, you know, use these since I have them and they were free. So that's the monthly section. Then we have, oops, a weekly section. And again, another one of those dividers. More of that pretty scrapbook paper. Uh, this is a sheet of vellum that I just thought was pretty, so I threw it in. And then we get to uh, the week on two pages. So this is obviously I have not, I don't think I've, oh yeah, this is this week. Okay, so uh, you can see it's got the boxes here. Uh, my goal for the week, be a better version of me, show up for me, uh, AM walk. I like to script my days when I remember to do so. 
this is a bookmark again from Dividers R Us, which I'm not. Uh, it's very flimsy and I'm not happy with, but I'm using it until I can find something better. Uh, then I track my morning walks, daily activity, and we're going to plan next week. So you can see as I use this, it's kind of um, very simple. Sometimes I write in it, sometimes I don't, because this is one of many planners that I'm using. Uh, but I do like these, you know, I do like these inserts. They're very simple. you got plenty of room to write, at least for me, and uh, it's working. It's working so far right now. So that is the weekly section. And again, these are undated. Now we are on to the daily section. Another one of those dividers, some more of the pretty paper. And uh, this is also from that paper pack. And then I just used some rose gold washi tape that I had in my stash. And this is the personal wide inserts from Foxy Fit. Foxy Fix. It is a dot grid uh, paper, which I really, really like because I don't like lined. I find that I, I can just kind of feel less restricted with the dot grid. And that's all I have in here. So sometimes I like to plan out a full day on a page, and that's what this is for. But I don't do that every day. It just depends on what I got going on, what my schedule's like, and so forth. The next section is school. This is going to be anything and everything related to my son's school. I've got more of that pretty paper. And since we're at the end of the year, obviously I don't have anything in here right now. Uh, but I have another one of those Foxy fixed dashboards. This is the secretarial pocket style. Um, and then I just have the lined paper that came with this particular planner. This is a Kiki K notebook paper and it's very, very nice. Or I should say inserts. Uh, the, the paper is nice and thick, so I really, really like it. Now, I have the school section in here because I'm not sure what's going to happen with my son's uh, school in the fall. Uh, they're talking about having hybrid classes where, you know, some days they go to school, some classes are online. Uh, they might do all online classes. We're not sure yet. Um, I have been considering maybe going back to homeschooling, Kaden. Uh, it just depends on what happens in the fall and I will make my decision then but we were already planning to homeschool uh, go back to homeschooling for him for eighth grade uh, he's going into seventh grade this fall so we might just bump that up sooner depending on uh, how things are looking so I'm just not sure yet but either way I do have the section ready for it uh, this last section I have is notes and this is another one of those Foxy Fix uh, dashboards. And I just put some pretty paper in there that I really liked. I just like the way these colors look. Another sheet of vellum, more pretty paper. And then these are just uh, blank lined papers. And I threw some stickers on there because I have them and I want to use them up. And uh, yeah, that's it. So if I have any notes or random, things to jot down, I have the space to do so. And then when you get to the back, uh, I have another one of those Foxy Fix dashboards with some more pretty paper inside. And then I have a page lifter again. Uh, this page lifter is so flimsy, it doesn't really work that great. So uh, I'm looking for a uh, better quality, you know, a thicker page lifter to put in here. So again, if you know any uh, B6 <laughs> inserts, please let me know. Finally, you get to the back. There was a notepad here, but I took it out because it made the planner uh, way too bulky. And then I have my tool uh, pen here in the pen loop, which I really, really like. And then you've got the snaps, and that is it. So uh, this is not a planner I take with me on the go. I pretty much use this uh, at home although I could take it if I needed to because it is small enough. But I like keeping it in my room because I like to kind of jot things down at night or kind of plan out my day at night just to get an idea of what's going on and kind of brain dump and uh, just kind of, you know, get stuff out of my head and get it on paper. So that is my setup for my Kiki K B6 ring planner. I do love it. Uh, you know, I... I just wish the experience of purchasing from Kiki K were a little bit better, but I understand things happen. It's 
tough times for us all. So if you have any questions about anything, feel free to drop them down in the comment section below. And if you're not subscribed, please make sure you do so because I do have a lot more videos coming. All right, everyone. Thank you again so much for taking the time to watch. I'll definitely see you in the next video. Bye.